Super excited to show you guys how easy this floor was to do using our black base coat and our purple highlights. Awesome color, super vibrant, and you're gonna learn it all right here at Ligari.com. We're gonna be coating over our galaxy floor here. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, so I've already got my primer and we're using our prep replacement primer. It goes on white and it dries clear because we don't wanna sand this floor at all. We just wanna coat right over it. And believe it or not, this primer will bond to smooth on prep surfaces. That's what it's designed to do. So the reason this goes on white is so you guys can see exactly where you uh, applied it. If it was clear, it'd be really hard to tell where you applied it. But as you can see, the prep replacement needs to be rolled out thin and it goes a really long ways. So all I'm doing is just stretching this out so I know it's on really thin. If you're doing a big floor, you're going to use an 18 inch roller. You're going to get down a lot faster. I want to show you guys how durable and of a bond our prep replacement primer gets to smooth surfaces so these are some polished tiles that we we primed about a week ago and can you see the line where we primed mm -hmm. on both these so this is the prep replacement nothing on it so we take a try to chip this stuff off it does not chip off like i literally have to, to get that off See how I'm gouging the tile? I gotta gouge. I have to gouge it out. Gouging the tile and it's still not even wanting to come off. So this stuff chemically bonds and etches into smooth surfaces. And that's why we call it our prep replacement primer because it, it truly is a prep replacement. Like I said guys, this stuff goes a long way. So I'm just, I just dipped in the bucket and now I'm rolling down the middle. And then I'm going to feather all of this out. And this stuff dries really fast. You can, you can get a fan on it. It'll probably dry in a half an hour. If you don't have a fan, it's probably going to be about an hour, hour and a half. It's not made to go on thick. You want to roll it on really thin. So if you were doing a, a project and you were doing our prep replacement, you would do this coat and then you would do our, our pigmented primer after this coat and then you would do your metallic coat. All right, so I'm gonna pour out my base coat, which is black. I'm just gonna do beads, like we always show. So we get that all poured out. Now we're gonna take our squeegee. Same. Like I always tell you guys, I like to do my edges first, so I'll usually just push the bead up. Pull it back, get it right up to that edge. That way I'm not running a bunch of material under the threshold there where your trim would go. Just get it right up to it, pull it away. And 
usually you would already, you would have primed the floor black. But since we're, I was showing you guys our prep replacement primer, and we're doing a black coating that it's going to cover just fine. So again, I'm just pushing it right up to the edge and then pulling it away that way. I'm not shoving a bunch of material under there and, and usually you have a bunch of dust and debris under there that you wind up pulling out with the, the floor if you push a bunch of material in there. The other way is to just run a bead right up close to it like this. And then get in there and just do the same thing, pull it away a little bit. That way it's all covered in there. You can see how nice thick coat that our system goes down at 45 square foot a gallon. It's the thickest on the market, and that's why we get such cool depth and marbleization with our epoxy systems. And the other huge benefit is, is it's super easy to work with. You're not trying to stretch material, and it just goes on so thick it's easy to move around and work with. Once you're satisfied with getting the, the base coat laid out, again, this doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to roll it real quick. So always leave your squeegee out there in case you need to pull some material somewhere, but I know I got a good thick coat out here in the middle, so I'll start rolling it right here. And we've already de-shedded the roller by putting tape on the roller and removing any loose hairs. So I'm just going to get this soaked up real good before I start rolling out the whole floor. And you want it to sound, you don't want it to make a sound. When it, if it sounds sticky, that means you got a thin spot. You can even use the, the roller as a squeegee. Like say I wanted to get some material over here. You just apply a little pressure and you start making a, uh, start pushing a pile of it. So just by applying a little bit of pressure, you can move some of the material around like this because it's such a fluid product. And notice how there's no bubbles. completely glass smooth surface. That's the quality of the resin that you get with our uh, floor systems. This is not some type of resin you can buy at a Home Depot or Lowe's. This is designed for pros and used by amateurs. So we've rolled out the whole base coat. It's nice and even everywhere. Uh, and then we're going to add our highlights. We're, we got a black base and we're doing our, our purple highlights and we're just going to do puddles. And you can do less puddles, you can do more puddles, you can do different colors. You can drizzle out some veins in between the puddles. I mean, there's endless designs and techniques for applying metallic epoxies. And it's always good to get right up to your edges, just in random spots. That way you have color on your edges and they just don't look bare. Get a little out 
right here. Now what we're gonna do is just swirl this together. Really simple. And if you wanna move some color somewhere, you can always just roll in that, that color, put it where you want it. See, I'm going different directions. I'm not swirling all the same pattern. Notice I've worked my way out, that way I'm not stepping in stuff I've already rolled with my cleats. And and that's it, when you guys are done, you don't want to go back and hit random spots, because it'll bring the pigments back to the surface and it can look different than everywhere else. So when you're done swirling, you want to be done with everything. If you have to hit it again, you probably need to hit the whole floor again real quick. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're always posting new footage and also follow us on our social media page. We're always posting customer installs there. You can see some really cool projects. And if you guys have some ideas for new projects, let us know below in the comments. Um, share this video, help us get the word out. And remember, Ligari.com has you covered.